what is going on guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing a deck profile of my cosmo deck now it's a cheap deck profile because you know i don't like to spend a lot of money on cards like what 15 pounds on cosmojo or something like that so i just you know buy the cheap cards and it does make a decent deck so yeah let's get into it to begin with i use three dark planets really 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 good card because really high attack and can't be targeted good effect easy to summon with cosmo town uh next i run eclipser i, I just run one eclipser because not many decks use trap cards but the ones that do i like to use it you know summon him negate they don't really expect it because not a lot of people use eclipser but i like to use one of them one dark destroy obviously in my opinion the best card in the deck just Annoying that it's limited. Two Forerunners. One Landwalker. Forerunner just getting life points. Seven star. You know, you, all of the Cosmos are easy to summon. You can get into lower cards with him like uh, Dark Lady, Farm Girl, Slip Rider. Same with Landwalker. The reason I use Landwalker is for Allure of Darkness. And say they do activate a card on like for example Cosmo Town I'll destroy him or something else because Cosmo Town you do need on the field otherwise you'll just like say banish a card or then you won't be able to get them back three separate riders obviously really 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 good I love using him gets into Cyber Dragon Infinity uh, Durandal Volcasaurus good effect get a farm girl with the you know many things you can do with that Dark Lady just one because it's just an effect that's good, that's pretty much it. Negating Negating monster effects. One good witch and two wicked witch. Good witch is really good. Say there's cards that can't be destroyed by card effects. Um So if it can't be destroyed by card effects then there's really not much you can do against it, but what you can do is Flip it face down, then say activate Dark Hole or pop it with Dark Destroyer. You know, there's many things you can do then. If it's face down because its effect is no longer active. Uh, Wicked Wish, just really good for prolonging the game until you get something good. Playing life points, but you can get life points back with Forerunner, for example. Two Farm Girls. Good for OTK. Just getting cards, banishing, summoning, banishing, summoning. Uh, so that works really well as well. Two straw man, I love using this card. It's just so good for special summoning banish monsters. Then when they die, you can banish it from the special summon again, and it just really, really, really good. Three tin cans, obviously used with dark planet and dark clips. So you have to have three of them if you got three dark planets. That's it for the monsters. Yeah, it's a pure, pure Cosmo deck in terms of monsters. Three Cosmo Towns. You obvious, you have to have three Cosmo Towns if you want to have a pure Cosmo deck because you will never probably never run out of cards in your hand because you can keep recycling, recycling. Two Terraformings. Just I don't play three because you do start to break. Say I've got one Cosmo Town in the field and I'll have two Cosmo Towns in my hand and three Terraformings and that has happened before so that gets annoying. So I just play two. Three Allure of Darkness. Now that it's unlimited, it's really, really, really good with Cosmos because they are dark. And that's that's the reason I have a Landwalker. Italy. It is to one now, which is also annoying, but still really like to use it with Farm Girl or other Tin Can just because at the end of the turn, activate Tin Can's effect to reveal uh, three. You choose one and then they go to the graveyard and then you can banish him as well. So that's really good because it's all in the end phase. Reasoning, the reason in, uh, the reason <laughs> reasoning is good, and I like to use it is because it's either an easy card, or you send a card to the graveyard, which can work with Eclipse or Dark Planet. So either way, it works in your favor. Three MSTs, as I said, it is a cheap deck, so I don't use Twin Twist. I just like to go with MST. It's just because you got Slip Ride as well, so you don't always have to be getting rid of cards. Just quick and easy to use, there's no cost like there is for Twin Twister. Two Dark Holes and a Lightning Vortex. No Raikaki obviously because cheap decks, so 
Dark Hole is really, really, really good. I've won so many duels because of Dark Hole, for like Infernoids or a new Dark Lords, uh, just other decks because they have a full field and no one really expects Dark Hole. Plus, it is technically better than Regeki because you do want your monsters to get destroyed so you can special summon. So, in that sense, it is really good. And Lightning Vortex, again, really good because you're discarding a card. So say you don't have any monsters in your graveyard but you have Dark Planet, you can destroy their monsters as well as sending a monster to the graveyard in case they activate a spell later on. Uh, that's it for the spells and two Call of the Haunted again works really good because say I destroy Dark Destroyer uh, and then if I don't want to banish him I can just summon him again to destroy it. one of their monsters. Uh, works really good with Slip Rider as well, you can just summon Slip Rider again to destroy or straw man to special summon from your banished that's it for the main deck for the extra deck I've got one infinity because I don't really summon infinity because I usually try and kill them before I have to or say I don't get two slip riders so that's why I just use one with one nova Volcasaurus really really good just comes in clutch sometimes and I just like the way it looks. Uh, Durandale again, really good for shuffling your hand if you don't have anything good. And their hand. Is it yours and theirs? Yeah, each player. Uh, three Constellas, yep, really good with Farm Girl. This one uh, and these two just work really well. Pleiades, I love using Pleiades. He's coming close a lot of times. This is during either player's turn. So that's good, it just returns to the hand in case they want to do something. Then it's just generic, Silent Honor, Dark Rebellion, Cowboy, Heartland Draco, Abyss Dweller, Castell, Utopia and Utopia Lightning. This actually won me a duel as well once. Had two uh, witches because I was stalling but I chose to bring these two guys in and because he does get uh, 5000 attack so... 5,000 attack, yeah. Attack becomes 5,000, yeah, so that's, that won me the duel. And, yeah, that's it. Now, yeah, I don't play uh, side deck because I think that deck is good on its own because I don't think it's fun if you just side deck to fully counter one deck because then there's, like, no fun in the game because you just say someone uses system down against me, then, yeah, okay, it's just game over. Or I use... Anti spell for ignorance against uh, pendulum decks or royal decree against decks that use trap cards. So don't find that fun. So I just think this is good against majority of decks. And yeah, that's about it. Cheap deck. As you can see, the most expensive card probably you saw there was Shabbat Infinity, but again, you don't have to use him a lot. So that's why it's really good. So that is my deck profile for my Cosmo deck. Leave in the comments below if you think. But I can change something to make it better. But yeah, that's a cheap deck profile for you. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.